So Season 2 of Black Clover Mobile will be dropping very, very soon, and they've just announced some new characters that will be releasing alongside it, so in today's video, I'm going to go over why you should or you shouldn't probably summon for these characters. Okay, so it's just been announced that you know, Ghosh and Noel are going to be the brand new seasonal characters, you know being a green debuffer, Noel being a red attacker, and Ghosh being a blue supporter, which I think overall is actually very good considering, you know, we had two attackers last season and a healer, so I think maybe if there was a tank in there, that would have been nice then we would have literally covered literally all of the roles already but maybe next season we'll get a defender but yeah so the first reason why you'd probably want to summon for these characters is that you know they are very limited and you know they're, they're also very cool because you know they're wearing you know their own custom outfits specifically made for themselves you know because it's you know summertime you know whatever they've got you know some pretty cool outfits on as you know that this this seasonal banner that i'll be dropping with these three characters is the best and probably the only time you're going to be able to pull for these characters because after the seasonal banner and which lasts for two weeks not one month so you, you can't you don't have a lot of time to save up in order to you know complete a rotation or, or whatever um, but yeah once it ends it will get the seasonal characters to go into the standard banner where they are not on a increased rate and they will be at the standard uh, SSR character rate so for example you know instead of being uh, each of them being a 0.5% of what you know was in season one they'd go down to like a 0.14 0.12 something like that so yeah which is you know is pro pro probably the main reason you'd want to summon for these characters because again you know these characters also could be very 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 important for you know you and your accounts or whatever and could be very very helpful for you know pv content arena as well and then also you know the game studios are going to want you to summon on the banner because you know you, they want you to do your 20 multi so you can get to the pity and you know maybe spend a bit of money here and there or whatever as so you know these characters are probably going to be good because they're going to want you to summon on this banner because you know the, these are one of the, the most desired banners of the season pretty much and i i think they will be good because obviously you know from last season you know we didn't you know see that Asta, um, Mimosa and Yami were also just incredibly good mainly you know Mimosa only really good for PvE but also very useful for PvP. Asta was really good for PvP then sort of dropped off a bit but uh, he's still really really good especially if you don't have a red DPS uh, like if you didn't pull for the red Yami then yeah, he's completely fine and then the blue Yami was probably the, the best of the bunch well definitely the best of the bunch because I think obviously you know blue being a very very uh, dominant matter at the moment as well as him just being useful for literally everything um just for pve and pvp because you know the fact that he could just shut down ultimates take away skill points etc and get his own was just really really good and the fact that you know he was also you know really useful for things like noelle's downpour as well and stuff like that where he could remove barrier from her so you just completely ignored that it made it made him really really good and very very desirable and then that brings me to my second point which you know they could be very very helpful for the upcoming pve events because as we know we've got a new boss in the limited time challenges it's not going to be battle gigas anymore it's going to be a different one that's going to come out so i mean as we saw from you know again blue yami it could be then noel or whatever who is almost not not necessarily designed for it but is almost you know lenient towards it as you know she her kit might be very very useful in these certain events but think things like that you know is you know we can only really wait until until we actually fully know whether you know that is actually going to be true or not but i, I think you know that could end up being the case and then one of the more important things I think is that these characters might be really great replacements for roles that you might not have on certain typings as you know for example Vengeance is a character that is really 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 good but a lot of people won't have because you know he's not guaranteed he's not featured he's not rated up anywhere so you only have a, only have like the base 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 chance of getting him as well as you know someone like Lotus as well so I think you know uh, Ghosh and you know could be very great replacements for characters that you're missing because supporters and debuffers I think are the most important you know roles that you can have on your account because realistically an attacker is an attacker at the end of the day if they do damage then i'm sure they're fine and then also ghost could actually end up being better than vengeance because you know we've seen previously that some well i guess season one asta had abnormally high had a abnormally high speed stat in comparison to everybody else as you know the base speed stat for an attacker is 103 whereas his was actually 109 so this then means that literally any of these characters could be faster than you know they probably should be or or, or etc because and then you know Ghost's speed could go up to like 130 or whatever then he's faster than Vengeance and then you know he could you know support your team by doing something else like he might he might be a speed buffer or something like that we have no idea but if if he has some really powerful buffs then you know he could be a really good replacement uh, for someone like Vengeance or whatever so again just another reason for you to consider you know 
uh, maybe something on this banner, as well as, you know, Yuna being a debuffer, because um, if he could, you know, then fill in the role for if you don't have Rill or Lotus or whatever on your PvP teams or something like that, then he could also be a really good replacement. And then obviously Noel could be really good, you know, especially if you didn't get Season 1 Aster from your Season 1 pulls, or if you didn't pull for the Red Yami banner, you say you pull for Fuegolion or whatever, and you've been absolutely crying out for a red DPS, then this is literally the perfect opportunity because I don't think we're going to be getting too many attackers for a little bit because we've had quite a lot over the past few, uh, over the past month of this release. And then to, to end it off really with the pros is that this banner, the, the value on this banner is crazy as these three characters, like I said before, are probably going to be really good, are going to be probably all top tier as, you know, the season one characters were. And, you know, you're getting a lot, you're getting a lot for, you know, the amount that you're putting in because, you know, a lot of the time when you're summoning you're summoning on, on an event banner for one character and one skill page whereas you know this on this banner you're summoning for three characters and three skill pages which again could be could be a negative it could be a, a, a positive thing but i see it as a positive thing because it's you know it's giving you um a 1.5 percent chance to get you know a, a character that you're probably going to want whereas on an event banner you only have a one percent chance to get something that you want in terms of a character anyway so yeah that, that is it for you know the reasons why you probably would want, want to summon on this banner overall you know this these characters can be very limited so you're probably going to want to summon on them for that they will most likely be very very good there will be great replacements for you know the roles that and typings that you're missing for you know to really help you like push forward in your gear and stuff like that and then the banner value is just crazy high because it's got three probably really good characters on it and you know you have a much higher chance of getting something good on the seasonal banner than you would an event banner and then the final one like i said before is that you know they could be really helpful for pve events that, and bosses that are going to come out later in the game as well so then i thought i'd sort of talk about you know why you know you might want not want to summon but you know there's not going to be too many of these as the first one is when these characters come out and we know exactly what they do you just might not need them and you know you might not have the fundings to summon for them as you know you might have spent all your summons on like Fana, Veto, Raya, Lake, etc um but I feel like you probably should have saved for at least a rotation on these banners because these banners are again like I said before the value is just crazy but again if you just don't need them and you know they don't turn out to be as good as you know we possibly Possibly might think they are then I guess you know you could uh, you could end up considering skipping these characters but again yeah at the end of the day I would probably say not then we have the advanced challenges key now this key is it's probably something you're going to want to use up this season but because of the key allowing you to get one of these characters for free you might not want to summon on, on, on the banner because there might be only one character out of all, all the three that you actually desire and that you actually need or want etc so then you could just use your key do the challenges get that character and then you won't actually need that character uh, any of the other characters and then it, what you can then do is just buy the clover pass and then you can buy their skill page uh, we can get their skill page not necessarily for free but out of the clover pass once you've um uh, com fully completed it and gone into tier 25 and then like i mentioned before is that again you might not actually have enough summons to complete a rotation and you might not just want to gamble your chance which for a lot of people is probably very hard to do but for those that are very very uh very solid in their mental state with <laughs> with whether they should summon or not um and they're gambling addiction then maybe maybe that might be another reason for you not to because if again if you spend all your summons on other banners then you know you might be put off from summoning on this one because you know especially if the characters aren't as good as you know we're hoping they're going to be then yeah that's probably another reason that you probably won't want to summon for them okay so that is it for today's video uh whether i think you should summon or not i think you definitely should overall um i really hope you've all saved up a rotation because these characters are cool i like them it's summer you know it's cool it is what it is and you know again these characters is going to be probably really damn good uh let's be honest um as you know i don't think they'd release characters well at, at least i don't think they'd release characters that they think are bad as you know they probably want them to be good so then you can summon for them but yeah that is going to be it for today's video let me know in the comments whether you're going to be summoning or not and i'll see you in the next video peace